All new tonight at six concerns over public safety in Waterford. Some people are worried that recent changes in how firefighters are scheduled will increase response time. The Board of Selectmen is meeting on Zoom to talk about it right now. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan joins us live outside the Quaker Hill Volunteer Fire Company with reaction. Kevin. Well, Aaron, the Quaker Hill Firehouse is one of five in the town. Uh, they've been volunteer for years and years until recently. Now there is a fire administrator who schedules four full-time firefighters 24-7, 365 days a, a year. But Quaker Hill had a full-time firefighter until recently. Now the schedule change, he works eight hours a day on a Saturday. And now fighting fires in suburb towns like Waterford is still mostly volunteer, but it's evolving because there are fewer volunteers. A referendum in 2010 changed the townwide model of managing public safety, ambulance service, and firefighting to include four full-time firefighters 24-7, 365 days a year, and contracted ambulance. People want to save money. We want to save lives. Lifelong Waterford resident Ann Avery was among 600 signing a petition for the town to be more transparent about a recent schedule change that drastically cut the hours of a part-time firefighter at the Quaker Hill Firehouse. It's one of the topics being discussed in a Zoom meeting right now by the Board of Selectmen. I hope that they approve the two part-time men, put him back on duty so we have coverage during the day when most people are working. The response time has doubled. Quaker Hill Fire Chief Vinny Uklija agrees times have changed, but let's not neglect life safety first. We are very upset that the part time has lost the hours, and that's why I put a petition together. The feedback I'm getting is very good response times, very good coverage. First selectman Rob Rule says they studied the data of fighting fires and response times, and right now the change is difficult for some to understand. So tonight I don't see this being an actionable item. I see this the first step of listening to citizens. Now the first selectman tells me nothing is written in stone just yet. This new model on fire management can still be tweaked after getting input from local residents. Live with the Mobile News from Waterford, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.